Dear students, in the last lecture, we discussed different formulated queries and learned different search tricks while searching on Google. And in this lecture, we will continue different other factors which will influence your searching on the internet. So, for example, you must be aware of at the rate sign. So, you know that in social media, for example, Facebook, Twitter. So, in those social media, if you want to search by using Google, then you can use at the rate sign. So, for example, you want to put a query. FIFA World Cup at the rate Facebook. So, this query will identify this search term FIFA World Cup at the rate Facebook means this will search on Facebook website and while searching on other social media for example on Twitter you can replace it with Twitter. So, we will try it after a while and here I want to discuss the result of this query that it is telling you that it is a Facebook page of FIFA World Cup and this is another Facebook page for FIFA World Cup, FIFA World Cup post, its home, then photos, videos. So, you can observe that all of these things were searched from Facebook. So, you can see in each result there is a Facebook. But if we remove at the rate Facebook, then you can see that it has given different results that are not identical to our previous query. And let us see whether Google has find any page related to Facebook. So, this is one page which he has identified, but there are no other results in top 10 searched ranked results by Google. So, here you can restrict your query to a particular social media. Similarly, we can try at the rate Twitter. So, now it will search FIFA World Cup on Twitter. So, you can see in all of the search results, there is a Twitter link for it. So, whatever world has discussed about FIFA World Cup on Twitter, such results will be will only be searched by Google and will be ranked and displayed to you. Similarly, you can also search for a price. For example, you are interested to search a laptop that cost 50,000 rupees, Pakistani rupees. So, you can search it in a way like laptop and then you need to write the currency and value. So, this search will give you all of the laptops which are below 50,000 rupees. So, I have put another extra n. So, these are the search results for this query. So, you can see that from 40,000 to 50,000 online shopping and for the laptops and similarly other results. So, you can also try here dollar, euros, whatever you want. So, it will be giving you the results based on your query. And then it also suggests you different options. So, you can also try those things as well, whatever you like if you are interested. And then you can also search for a hashtag. You might know that on social media, different users use hashtag. And if you want to search from Google 
only those pages which are using that particular hashtag then you can write a query in a way that you need to write hash education so it will find all of those resources from social media where this education hashtag has been discussed by the community so you can see on twitter hash education and some other results so let's try one of the thing for example hash education on twitter so you can see that all of the posts which are using hash education will be listed on this page and you can see that what different people have talked about education on twitter using this search query using hashtag and then there is a very interesting search tip for example you want to search from google about a particular query but at the same time you want to exclude you want to minus some of the words from the query so you might know about jaguar jaguar have two meanings jaguar is a animal and jaguar is a car so if you write a query for example jaguar speed so in this way google will tell you speed of the jaguar animal and speed of the jaguar car so for example if you don't write anything then google will give you both results the car so you can see here is the video of a car and then here are the videos of the animals so you can see different results fastest animals top 10 animals but at the same time car but if you are interested that you should be given jaguar speed but excluding the world car so which means you will be returned all of those pages which have mentioned jaguar speed but they are not mentioning car so here you will see that it will be displaying jaguar but you can also see some of the images of car which is in accuracy in google because it is a autonomous search engine and it tries its best to retrieve the most relevant information about your query but it may miss some of the information sometimes but it will mainly focus on the web pages with which have mentioned jaguar speed but excluding the car then there is an another search tip that if you are interested to search for a particular phrase for example if i remove this minus car and if i search for this jaguar speed so as i already mentioned in previous lectures that it will try to identify both of the terms on the web pages so it will return you web pages which have mentioned jaguar and it will also return the pages which have mentioned speed so if you are interested that you need only those pages which exactly mention jaguar speed then you can enclose them in double quotes so now it will only show you those pages which have exactly mentioned jaguar speed and then there is is another search tip which is a wild card so for example you want to search a query like is thicker than water but you do not know what is thicker than water and you put a asterisk here which acts as a wild card wild card mean unpredictable factor so you want to search that there should be a phrase and that phrase should start from any word but that should have is thicker than water so if you type this query it will give you blood is thicker than water love is thicker than water
it is restricting its results to this particular query is thicker than water. So, if we summarize our today's lecture that we have today discussed different options at the rate hash by using PKR or dollar sign exact match how to exclude a word and how to use a wild card. Thank you very much.